that period also shows you that Woo, I am on my ovulation. So what you want to use your ovulation for? Are you ready to be a mother? Or you just want to chill and still enjoy life? Because motherhood, hmm, I've not been there before, but it's not easy. Oh. Back to my YouTube channel. I still remain your girl, Nurse Yubi. And in my channel, I talk about cancer a lot, but also, I drop feminine topics such as this one I'm going to do today. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to track your ovulation cycle. Oh yes, real ladies, we are pretty much sure that we know ourselves so well that we know our ovulation cycle. Beautiful. How do you use your cycle? I saw a controversial video on Instagram um, and then I commented. It got a lot of um, controversies, you know, we're talking about giving birth to lots of children without controlling what do you use as your contraceptive yes there are a lot of contraceptive methods but you can also use a natural method which means that you have to know how well to study your ovulation study your menstrual cycle and get really acquainted with it as it's going to help you to naturally know when you're fertile and when you have your safe period to stay away from intercourse with your spouse now before we go into the topic um, when you want to talk about ovulation, you first of all have to acknowledge two hormones that work significantly together to bring about the cycle called ovulation or menstrual cycle. We have the estrogen and we also have the progesterone. When you're talking about the estrogen, it is the hormone that helps in ripening or developing the ovary and then helping it to shed when it gets to the ovulation. And it also works hand in hand with progesterone. Progesterone, what it does that in between the menstrual cycle, what progesterone does is that it's going to help to thicken the endometrium. This is where everyone refers to as commonly as the womb. So it's going to thicken the endometrium. It, it creates like a bed, a good, sweet, lovely bed for a developing embryo. Embryo is just the, um, it's a zygote. It's something that has to do with them. Um, the sperm coming to fuse into the ovum which is the egg of a woman and it becomes an embryo so when the embryo is developing it needs a very suitable environment for it to implant to grow up to become a fetus to grow up to become a beautiful baby that we all see and then we cradle so that is what these two hormones do they work together significantly to bring about the ovulation cycle or the menstrual period that we all know and now what happens if the ov if the ovulation happens means if there is an egg that is already shedded from the ovary so now when the sperm comes it cannot meet with the ovum to become an embryo what happens is that the ovum goes down through the fallopian tube and then goes to the endometrium and it sheds off with the thickened endometrium it sheds off and become the menstrual cycle which happens in the menstrual period of a woman talking about menstrual period menstrual period is just the first is the period where you shed the blood that was created by the progesterone on the endometrium so that is the menstrual cycle that is the menses that is the menstrual period that is what every woman call the period so you shed the blood that was supposed to stay to cradle the baby in the or the embryo in the womb so that sheds off and we see a blood shed from the woman now talking about um ovulation period we have to also acknowledge the menstrual cycle of a woman the menstrual cycle lots of people have different menstrual cycles some have 28 days some have 30 days or some even have less 26 days everyone differs everyone varies you know the bodily um composure or composition of every human being differs from another i could have 28 days my sister could have 30 days another person could have even less than let's say 26 days the people that, the people that have shorter menstrual cycle these people tend to even see menses or men they still they seem to have their period let's say could have it twice in a month yeah i never knew it sometimes one woman could even have 
different cycles depending on diet depending on environment depending on the mood or should i say the hormonal changes in the body of that woman at a given time going to the main conversation for today the main topic the main thing that brought us here today is the ovulation so now when you want to pinpoint on the ovulation day it varies in every woman like i said but first of all let us talk about why you need to know your ovulation it is going to help you to understand your mood your different mood because the hormones you know that is calivanting everywhere in your body sets you off and then gives you these mood swings that we usually don't understand when you're on your menstrual cycle oh my god let's even call it menstrual period you're going to just feel like you're one satan from nowhere you just wake up in the morning you don't want to talk to anybody this is because the hormones are just like acting up the progesterone is coming the estrogen is coming everything is just bombarding each other and that is why you get on that mode and then you tell your spouse like oh please fuck off i don't want to go no no i don't want i don't want well to some people it might vary some people get extraordinarily excited they just want to do everything they want to vibe with their girls it's just you know that is because the hormones are like everywhere and the second thing you need to know about the cycle or the ovulation period is that it gets you really sick you get to understand why you're sick why you're having a fever because there is an inflammatory process that's going on on your body or inside your body which gives you a fever that you can't even understand that period also shows you that whoo i am on my ovulation so what you want to use your ovulation for are you ready to be a mother or you just want to chill and still enjoy life because motherhood i've not been there before but it's not easy oh. next thing you want to also know or you want to yeah the other function is that during your ovulation you look so beautiful <laughs> your husband is just gonna see you and you'll be glowing you just be having that natural glow your face is so 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 looking so shiny and so fine and your husband just wants to bounce on you that is because you're ovulating and these are the signs as well that will help you to know that this is likely to be my ovulation period okay and the next best thing is that during your ovulation period you're very fertile if you just meet your spouse you're going to get all <laughs> i won't even say it but that is a period where you're very fertile and if your spouse meets with you you're going to conceive of a pouncing baby girl or boy isn't that exciting news yes to me it is very very exciting because i wish every woman who is married to have a little lad to you know cradle it's so nice to be a mother yeah so when you're ready you should use your ovulation period very very well okay so now i'm talking about the ovulation period is that your ovulation period is counted the 14th day usually for people that have the 28 day cycle like i said it varies for the 28 day cycle menstrual cycle people your ovulation period is going to be on the 14th day of your menstrual cycle don't worry i'm going to explain the first day of your menstrual cycle is the first day that you bleed the first day of your period of your menstrual period that first day is counted one two three four five probably if you're someone that sheds off for five days five days usually for most people of menstrual period so the 14th day of that cycle is likely to be your ovulation period for the people that have 28 day cycle when i say 28 day cycle means that if you see your period on the 30th of the month your period is likely to come again on the 28th of the next month and it keeps going like that it keeps grooving like that okay so that is your ovulation period the 14th day for people that have the 30 day cycle you can't you can calculate you can give a chance of 
14 to 16th day is likely to be your ovulation period. It varies. Okay. So now talking about the unsafe period where you want to know, am I safe or am I unsafe? From the 10th day of your menstrual cycle to the 16th day of your menstrual cycle, within these days, you are likely to be unsafe or you are likely to be safe to have a baby. So that is your ovulation period. If you like this video, kindly share this video to your lucky sisters who are, have been trying to calculate their menstrual period. Because for me, I did not know until I became a nurse. I want to also tell you one significant sign that you will use to know your, that you're ovulating is that you're going to have this mucoidy, stretchy mucus discharge as a woman it's going to stain on your panty and it's going to be kind of whitish but if you touch it's going to be stretchy it is very normal that shows that you're ovulating and you're very very unsafe for your boyfriend don't go and do anything funny okay except you're ready so if you like my video today if you love what you see, you hate if what you hate you understand it or if you don't drop comments and ask your questions you can as well come to my instagram to dm me that knows you be and i'm going to answer all your questions you can also scroll down my video scroll down my um youtube page you're gonna see i made a video about the different kinds of discharges and how to know what they all mean okay thank you so much i so 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 i'm grateful bye bye